Hello, uh, I'm Dean Pin Tsai from National Taiwan University. I have an appointment with Academic Seneca uh, in Taipei, Taiwan, as the Director of Research Center for Applied Sciences. The mission of the Research Center for Applied Sciences is to use in the cutting-edge science and technology to implement the applied sciences research and development in Taiwan. This research center is a very new research center. Uh, it is uh, for applied sciences, especially in three divisions. First one is green technology. The second one is uh, bio and medical application. The third one is uh, mechanics with engineering. In the last uh, 20 years, we have uh, very uh, interesting uh, photonics industry developed in Taiwan. We have about uh, 500,000 people working in this uh, photonic industry, and especially on the flat panel display, solar cell, uh, LED lighting, and the optic storage, like the optic disc. And the reason for that is very simple because uh, we used to make uh, the clothing or the, you know, the daily utensil, those uh, low price uh, product for uh, export trading. Um, but those uh, industries are quite low tech. So we need to find some high tech with uh, knowledge based uh, industry. Uh, Taiwan is a small island. We don't have uh, so much uh, natural resources. So we need to have a uh, good uh, knowledge-based industry. Photonics is a very good choice for that. My current research work uh, is to do with uh, plasmonics, metamaterial, and the applications on the bio application, especially for the better life and the health care. So, uh, we try to make uh, this very fundamental principle, the, inter the interaction between the light and matter uh, to be useful for doing the applications on the better life, energy, and the environment applications. Metal material basically is a man-made material. Uh, instead of this uh, natural material uh, uh, with uh, Atom and monocote, the, the most fundamental unit for the metamaterial basically is artificial, man made unit with the size much less, much less than the wavelengths you used in the system. So, in this way, you are able to create the artificial material with very novel uh, property which can be used for special applications. So in our case, we try to make a uh, different type of uh, metal material uh, with uh, very low cost, very large volume in a very short time. So the best way to do it is to have all of them self-assembly. But are they going to listen to you? <laughs> we are not sure. So basically, you need certain method. You need solution. You need a very special environment or pressure to put them all together to form the metal material. So that's a very big challenge for us. The plasmonic metal material is the metal material which are made by the plasmonic uh, material uh, or the plasmonic uh, property, uh, the plas plasmon basically is a collective uh, uh, electron which uh, generate in between of the interface uh, at the interface of dielectric material and the metallic material or uh, other material like the semiconductor material interface. So we try to make good use of this property to be able to make the plasmonic metamaterial.
by a very uh, special way of arrangement of those uh, plasmonic metamaterial, uh, which is related to their size, their shape, and their geometry, they are able to localize the electromagnetic wave interact with those plasmonic metamaterial. So those very strong localized EM field, which can make this uh, photon had uh, more interaction to generate more electrons to harvest in the solar energy with a longer time or longer lifetime, which makes the efficiency for the uh, solar cell or the harvesting of the photon uh, better than before.